Hey, okay. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the show. Uh, we're gonna get started here. Um, back with trying to get this um, this concept out of this nice robot. If you look at the previous videos, back up and running. Um, if you're watching me again, um, I re I'm going to replace all the. There was two videos before this. I'm going to replace it with this video, and we're going to walk through strictly with to do with modeling and sculpting in 3D code, then Blender, and then um, of course animating and all that sort of good jazz. So let's get right to it. Uh, welcome to the Exercise Next Show. If you're watching me for the first time, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and, and you know taking a look at a stream here. Um, I also want to shout out all you know all the new um, all my new followers and all my frequent followers like undefeated undefeated one hey he's a guy that um, I play Warframe with and he's awesome you know I also want to shout out you know um, you know my friend um, MC Pinks and Coco seven seven six nine right and all all of you out there who watch me in a regular basis and also on this shout out swizzy 3d because he's the person he actually interacts with me here in the chat so without further ado let's jump into working with 3d code getting things action oriented uh, feel free to ask me questions or just view me online doesn't matter tell your friends hey let's get this going okay thanks let's go Okay. Huh. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Many people in the valley of decisions, right? I think there's something in the Bible like that. Um, I had to make a lot of decisions today, and um, I wanted to make the decisions in a different sort of way, but in the end, I decided to go, you know, with what you know I felt was like the right decision to make. So if you're ever in a position where you had to make some decisions and you didn't know what to do normally your first gut instinct might be the right thing you know um, normally normally that's normally is correct right they always say trust your gut i think your gut is like maybe like the holy spirit you know trying to tell you like you know what's the best thing you know for you to do in a you know in any given situation so i was in a situation i wouldn't talk too much on it but you know where I had to help a friend you know and this guy is amazing you know I mean I, I think he's a cool cool person you know I mean I would I would almost do anything for that for, for that person because he's such a um, you know he has such a good mind on him when it comes to work too so to work with that guy is cool but the downfall was everybody else around him right I mean I think um, there was a lot of people around him who was also pretty cool but then there were a few people, you know, it's it's tricky. It's you know, it's just a little tricky situation. Everybody is nice or cordial or, or cool. Some people just want to be mean. I'm not saying that they were actually mean to me this time. Just you know, just different, right? So you know, and plus, you know, I'm working on this stuff and I'm trying to get this stuff done and that kind of thing. But I really appreciate you know people thinking about me and reaching out. You know, it's truly appreciate it you know so I decided to make a decision and you know sometimes people take certain things personal it wasn't personal it was just a matter for me of you know being able to to have the time to actually get you know do do the work and ramp up and do it in a way that you know that they would like and, and I don't want to go in there and make a mess anyways uh, let's continue we're gonna dump this on the Wacom because uh, we're having really good results on that uh, let's first grab up the design real quick here okay um, yeah let's go ahead and put the design of the guy on here let's see how far we could reach so this is like technically this is the second video for the day but this one is definitely going to be recorded I'm going to try to format it properly and everything
Okay, let's dump this on the way it comes so we can start working on it. Okay, here we are. Last time we were going with a Vox Clay, we were trying to keep it kind of simple. Okay, let's see here. It's gonna take a nice little look. So let's get rid of this one arm here. Okay, let's um, undo the, the symmetry on it. So 3D Code is a sculpting program like much like ZBrush, but it all it just doesn't just deal with um, with polygons and meshes like that. It also deals with voxels. So I'm in voxel mode here in 3D Code because it allows you a lot of flexibility with um, you know getting some really quick odd shapes happening. Uh, I'm still kind of ramping up with 3D Code, so I'm by no means the 3D Code professional or a wizard or what, anything like that. I'm trying to, trying to see what this part here do, belongs to. Okay, so that piece is that piece. Might be able to get rid of that piece. I'm just looking to make sure there's there's nothing I'm deleting. Okay, so now we could actually work on this part here. I'm gonna hit the frame. And once it frames, you know, you know it's it's doing good. Okay. Grab that uh, Vox clay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put this under into red wax mode. But things look really preliminary. And let's try to get this uh get this sculpt going. brush a little bit bigger
if you haven't guessed it, that uh, this song that you're hearing here is from a game called um, Anthem. Anthem was a, a wonderful game. I think it got like overly harsh reviews because people really liked it, but they wanted to see the developers do more with it. But in true fashion, you know, sometimes instead of just seeing that, you know, sometimes people are. There's sometimes some gamers they resort to kind of like you know this game is not good da 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 da, and then they kind of like they don't bother with it. But um, and also I kind of blame the gamers. This has to do with the developers too, probably not um, listening too much to the community, which always causes you know strife. You know, and as a aspiring developer myself, um, you know I think listening to the community. The game, your community is their lifeblood, right? You gotta know the people that play it. You gotta know like what it is they they want, you know. But also, you gotta set those expectations, right? So you can't set high expectations and not deliver on that. You know, um, for this game, I'm not setting high expectations um, out there. I'm not putting high expectations out there in terms of you know. Telling everyone, well, you know, it's going to be all this sort of great stuff. I'm just saying that, you know, I think hopefully I could tell a story in with this uh, with this game and be some sort of fun, you know. And hopefully you guys will like it, you know. Whoever whoever is playing it, I should say, would like it. So I'm looking at the overall oh I'm looking at the overall um shape of this thing. flatten
Okay, so what I'm using is a what they call a fill, fill tool or some um, sculpting programs call it a flood tool. And it kind of fills up the spaces, you know, fills up the valleys in the um, in the mesh. So there's not so much, uh, not so much, uh, you know, like kind of potholes in there and stuff.
Oh, the smooth on this uh, flatten is like 100. I'm going to go 50. I don't need it to be that smooth. Okay, I'm going to zoom out here. Can I take a look at the overall um, arm? Okay. And I think this shader really exaggerates the bad characteristics in um you know in the in the mesh or in the sculpt I should say.
one thing that I've learned is that you continue continuously rotate on this until you see all the problems kind of solved on the sculpt
Okay, I'm gonna have to... Sometimes you have to come in here and you have to do, do um, uniform the space a bit. Thank you. 
Let's use that smart pinch.
Okay, let's drop that green shade on there. Okay, so I'm what I'm doing right now is just kind of looking at the overall form. Once we turn this into, once we turn this into a, um, into a mesh, there, you know, we'll get a little bit. I wonder if I should add like the extra finger. Let's just zoom out a bit. I'm going to add a little more resolution to this layer.
Okay, still doing a little gymnastics here in the, um, with the voxels. Okay, so I'm just gonna separate all these fingers into a separate, uh, into a separate mesh. Excuse me. Go split. Turn that down to zero. Excuse me. I'm gonna add it as a as a special uh you know as a special um tool in here. Add preset. Let's see if we can get this work. I wonder if I could let's see what we could do with this. I'm gonna save first. Let's put on that working shader. The ZBrush uh, crazy red red wax shader. I want to see if it's going to work like this. I'm not sure this is going to work, but let's see. Yeah, I didn't think it, it didn't work. It just cut right through the volume. It's truly like a 2D thing. There's different ways you could go about doing something like this. You could uh, duplicate the mesh and delete the parts that you don't want. But let's see if we could cut out the parts that we do want and then combine them back. Well, I think another thing too is to you could like paint um you could do like a like a freeze kind of paint. I wonder if there's a freeze extract. Hold on, let's see what's going on here. I think there is something like that. Hold on. Let's look through some of these uh Seeing that this is utility, I'm gonna drop it on the main, uh, on the main, my main desktop. Cause we're not like doing any um, pen sculpting. Ooh, a lot better. Okay, let's see. Cut and clone. Nope. Clone. Clone the selected piece. Can you select like that? That's exactly what it does. Okay. Alright, the clone is not bad, but that's not what we want right now. That's a utility we could probably use for later. I 
I'm looking here. Copy. Oh, so you can merge the sum of all layers and bring it to like the current layer. It's a spherical brush, okay. So check this out. So if I do that with a finger, I think it will actually, okay, let's see. Let's see if we can organize this a bit. To lower arm. Forearm piece, forearm piece. Let's bring this up in here. Okay. So I think this is how this is going to work. I'm going to come here. make a new layer so I'm going to clone all the parts here using this tool here copy hey okay, it totally did it look at that that's crazy can we get a different color so we know what we're doing yeah, let's do that. Absolutely, this works. Let's use a nicer brush. That's a crazy nice tool, I like it. What's a frame on that? Ooh, me likeies. That's a neat way to do this. Need that a little bit smaller.
If I hold alt, would it do would it get rid of? Yeah, I don't think so. That's real interesting right there. You could probably do all sorts of stuff with this. Okay, so let's just get the fingers. Should be able to just go through and cut these. Let's see. Yeah, and extract these. Let's go and try splitting. Uh, probably there could be like a fancy way to split it, but um, I'm just going to cut you right now. There's a lot of things that could also be expressed in, um, in texture. Yeah, that's not bad. That's cool for now. Okay, we got, we got, yep. Have to get rid of some of that palm. Let's 
Something like that. Cut that. Yeah, I was afraid it would cut all the way through, so I'm gonna do that on a plane and just kind of cut some of that out. Which is a cool thing that you know it allows you to do. So let's uh let's do by uh let's do the plane by right mouse click. About maybe let's go down to this step. Fed that down, yeah. Okay, yeah, so we got that out. Let's, I'm gonna turn this guy back on. Yep, back on track. That sphere brush is pretty cool. I'm gonna the copy brush. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna add that to my tool set. I like it. I think a lot more creative things could probably be done to the hand. But for now, we're gonna leave it like this. And let's just view everything together. So I'm gonna mirror back um, this part here to bring up our concept art here. And these are just rudimentary, um, these are not the final colors. These are, this is just rudimentary um, uh, shaders just to help with, with sculpting itself. It has nothing to do with really the end, the end result. I almost wish this thing comes to some sort of a point and uh, we, we probably could do something like that. Let's go with, let's get our pose tool and um, we'll pose through all volumes like so. Let's see, you want a line? You can go to sphere. Let's try it again. Yep. Okay, okay.
You can come back in later and adjust this. I'm not gonna um, waste too much time trying to trying to get that part happening. Okay. So let's see, Claire. Let's see, let's see. <sighs> hmm. Okay, we, we, we're getting somewhere. Let's look at those legs. And maybe we could deal with the undercarriage here. I'm looking at it and I would like it to like return up a little quicker, so I'm gonna go to my side view. Like the angle on the bottom to come up a bit. So let's see what we could do with that. Take the split. I'm gonna come like this. Let's see what that does. Gotta get the right thing.
Okay, what I would like to make this uh, thing here and um, you know, these sorts of um, gadgets with some of these muscle things coming out and have the leg happening. So okay, at this point in time guys, I'm gonna take a little break. Um, we'll come back, uh, we'll see what we could do. Um, most, most likely I'll come back in another video. I gotta take some breaks for this. I'm kinda coming off of like, as I said, having to make some big decisions. You know, that kinda have me a little bit on edge. And I just gotta, I gotta cool down a little bit. Um, you know, mostly in my head. And uh, I'll be right back. You know, we'll come in and we'll get some of this stuff happening. You know, so far so good, you know, like, what do you guys think? You guys having fun watching or, you know, let me know. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit later tonight. We'll get back on this. We'll work on the legs as a separate thing. We'll work on the gadget part of the legs, like all this stuff and have fun um, breaking out the bottom of this uh, this mech. We'll just break it out and um, show the internals and then goes into these uh, these two legs, these two octopus legs, like a kind of, kind of semi-hard octopus legs, something like that. All right, guys, so this is XSI Nick. We worked on the, the hands. Not perfect, but it's getting there, right? It's going to get there. We're going to get better, right? And, um, and of course, you know, um, once we start animating it, it's going to be a whole other thing. And then there's small micro details and all, all that stuff. Once we have the general guy out here, you know, um, this one arm here, I'm going to convert this arm here into, into this arm here. So that's a whole other thing. So we're gonna to try to move as quickly as we can through all these, you know, I'm learning as I go to some degree, even though I've been working with 3D Code for a couple of years now. So I'll see you guys in a little bit, you know, let's have some, um, continue to have fun together. I look forward to seeing you like maybe in the next uh, three, four hours, you know, and we'll deal with it on the side of this, uh, this mech. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Go out, bless, and exercise Nick out. Thanks for joining. Uh, 3D code is awesome. We got a little robot guy. Hey, let's hit it. Let's see how 3D code renders things. You have to come to the render tab up there, and um, you just rotate it in the view that you want. Make sure you're um, you're in a proper camera view, and you can zoom like this. And you can even set up a room for yourself if you want. So if you come over here into back into the sculpt, the sculpt, you know, let's um. Collapse all the layers here. Let's make a room layer, right? So let's do this. So I'll show you how to do that. First of all, you know, we click and we make a new layer. I'm just double checking to see if we're adding too much here. Low forearm. Okay, so we made a new layer. I'm gonna call it um Envir Envi. You could call it stage or something. Alright, and as simple as dropping a block on here and then just hollowing it out so let's make the block kind of big like so we're gonna keep it voxels and then um we're gonna lay this down apply um, we're gonna turn symmetry off and i'm just gonna come this way this way Raise it to the top. Let's make it a little bit thicker on the bottom. Bring in the walls a little bit here. Okay, I'm looking through all the options here. This is just literally important thing. So I'm gonna go now and do a subtract. 
and subtract away from the volume so we immediately have kind of like a, a room here that we could use right and then you use a transform tool to move it into position I'm gonna turn my grid on to bring up the bottom of the floor of the room here to the grid I'm just gonna drop it just a little bit lovely and I think this is cool enough and of course you could drop a really nice material on it let's drop this uh, kind of beige whitish material and then uh, let's go back into render and see what we have look at that I think it needs a little bit of adjusting so I'm just gonna adjust it real quick so go back into that um, sculpt Gonna bring it down a smidgen and then going back into the render yep and you could frame you could frame a render of course oops render tool transforms yep. let's get let's get a good view on our guy you could hold alt to change the camera angle I think this looks great. Let's see what we got here. See it's resolving and you could go in here in 3D code. There's a bunch of um, settings here that allow you to, um, to change. But first of all, you could change the light angle. See if we change the light angle to something a little bit more like this. And we can look at all the settings over here. This is the settings here. Raise per frame, entire screen, and then you, or you could do custom size, anti-aliasing, anti-aliasing. Uh, you could render, and we'll render it out to a lovely uh, PNG. But that's how you um, kind of set up a quick render there here in um, in 3D code. You can increase the intensity of the, the sun also by turning this up right up there to the top. very cool all right guys so i'll come right i'll be right back um a little bit later and we'll continue working on this on this nice model here you know you can just change um change the color of that bag you know using any any color which is pretty interesting uh, i'm gonna go with a polymer the fabric metal oh let's go with paint these are some funky paints Alright guys, I'll see you later. Exercise Nick out. Have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. We'll continue a little bit later tonight. See you then.